Truman, Zephyr Steinberg, and I'm from Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Yeah. Alright, now, um, is Facebook still relevant? No, hell no. Fuck Why not? <laughs> Only old people use Facebook. Alright, now. Should I look at the camera? Should I look at you? Yeah, look at the camera. Okay. Can you do a New York accent? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got some edibles if you're interested. Got no, thank you. Um. <laughs> I don't know what what kind of New York accent. New York accent, like when uh, I'm talking I can do like this. Uh, uh, yeah, I can talk like a fucking <laughs> New Yorker. All right, now you got any sisters? No. Do men or women have it easier in this world? Um, I don't think it's my place as a man to say. No. Right. Yeah, good answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good answer. Stay right. safe with that answer. What were you doing last year during the lockdown in March and April? Mostly masturbating. <laughs> Mostly Watching aggressively yeah. masturbating. <laughs> so fucking dumb. Yeah. All right, now, uh, what do you see yourself five years from now? Um, hopefully in college. Uh-huh. Uh, maybe NYU. I don't know. I want to... Fuck. You know. I want to do... Uh, <laughs> I want to do uh, screenwriting and like comedy and film. Entertainment. All right, now I see out of this whole group, you are the only one that stepped up. Do you consider yourself to be a leader? A what? A leader? Leader. I don't know if I'm a leader. I think I'm. I like to just like be bold. I guess I kind of used to be like very. Not, not used to like in middle school. I kind of was a little shy, and in, in freshman year I was super shy, super shy. Like I wouldn't talk to anybody. And then during the lockdown, I was like, I just gotta make friends. You know, I need to make friends. I'm so fucking lonely. Um, so I was like, I'm just gonna be bold and talk to people. And I've kind of been that way for a little while now. And it's good. I think it, 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 I'm a lot more confident. What kind of advice do you have for people who are introverts or people who keep to themselves to come out like you have? Oh, I need to hear this one. Just be yourself. Really, like, like that's all it is. Like, do well, you. Well, what about people if people don't like have it. the courage to do it? Um, I think. I don't know. For me, it was like I kind of did a little countdown in my head. I don't, that doesn't work for everybody. I just did like three, two, one, and then I like say yeah. something or approach a group of people or whatever it is. Now that's what, my. What, that's my. What can you tell me about the peer pressure situation in school? Peer pressure? Yeah. I don't think I've ever really experienced peer pressure. No. Maybe I've. They been don't a talk you into trying to do drugs or. No, I'm. Vape. No. no. I'm mostly the one who talks people into it. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um no, I never really ex um, experienced it. I like, I'm pretty open to doing drugs. You hear that, mom? I do lots of drugs. <laughs> or no, if you were not in New York, where do you think you would be? LA. No, no fucking way I would be in LA. Maybe you would. Why not LA? You would do LA? LA. Hell yeah. Fuck that. LA's Fuck so that. chill. Yeah. All the yeah. movie stars, fucking drugs, bad bitches. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Bad bitches do be in The nice weather. There is nice bad bitches weather. and there is nice weather. But I think it's like, it's, it doesn't have the, the, the heart that New York City has. It's yeah. so different. If I wasn't in New York, I would be in... Like, do you mean where would I want to be in if I wasn't here? Or yeah, yeah, like, yeah. where would I... Okay. Uh, I would want to be... I don't know, man. Israel. Israel? Yeah, maybe I'd move and settle down with a nice... No, with a nice Israeli well, how would you? How would you survive in Israel if you didn't speak Hebrew? I learned it, I guess. Okay. But also, like, a lot of the, they speak a lot of English in, in yeah. Israel. All right, now, people always say, be yourself, right? Yes. But what yourself. if you've got a bad personality? Should you still be yourself? <laughs> the bad personality, should you still be yourself? Like, you're a really irritating person. No. Be nice. Yeah. So be don't a nice be yourself, person. Then. Yeah. Don't be yourself if you're an asshole. Yeah. All right, now, when I'm in the supermarket, I'm frequently mistaken for... Uh, an employee. People always ask me, "Do you work here?" Who are you most frequently? Actually, I, I was some some dude mistook me for an action kid. A what? Oh, you look like any? Oh well, that's not true. I think I've been I don't. I don't think anyone's ever come up to me and been like, "Hi, who are you? This person?" Ever in my life. Yeah. What, what, what has that ever happened to you? Uh, no. yeah. my, my brother though is like famous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's like, "Oh, you say your brother's famous?" His brother's yeah. very what does he do? He's, he's famous in New York. Oh, he's a rapper. Yeah. Crosby, Lottie Crosby. Lottie Crosby. Yeah. Do you do anything Lottie. at all? Uh, not really. You don't make content? He yeah. fucks bad bitches. Yeah. Bad bitches. <laughs> Subscribe to It's the Jackman uh, on okay. YouTube. <laughs> this guy's what kind of show. videos are you talking about? Uh, yo, he, he makes all types of videos. Prank and, videos? And, yeah, if you like anything in the universe, you'll like It's the Jackman. It's like Instagram. That's all I know.
All right, so. Nobody mistakes you for anyone? No, not no, not really, ever. All right, now do nice guys finish last? What's that? No, not if you pick the right girl. Yeah. And that's wisdom. You familiar with New York City? Very. What are some good places to film videos like this in New York? Like this? Yeah. Uh, St. Mark's. Soho. Soho is, there's always like interesting people in Soho. To go to Smith Street in Brooklyn. Yeah. Um, uh, Central Park, I don't, you know, popular places. Um, 35th Street. What, what kind of questions would you ask if you were doing it? I would ask ass and titties. Yeah. That's my that's my biggest question in life. <laughs> all right, now you you say you're not a content creator, right? You don't uh, make videos at all. No. He makes content in real life. No TikToks. I, yeah, I post an occasional TikTok. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, whenever I'm feeling it. Woo! If you had three wishes, what would they be? Um. I'd wish for. A bigger dick <laughs> and a better body yeah. and billions of dollars. And that's selfish, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now do you have any special talents? No. <laughs> no. Zero. Do you have any dating advice for us? What works and what doesn't work when it comes to meeting women? Let's what just works say just being women. yourself. That's yeah. the only thing that's ever gonna work. If you try and be like a a plain dude and just like give nice answers, no one is gonna be interested in what you have to say. No one's gonna give a fuck and they're gonna leave you alone and they're gonna be like, that guy's fucking boring. Yeah. Be yourself, give creative answers, be tr you know, crack a joke <laughs> every once yeah. in a while. So it's such a humor. All right, if you're just a yes man, you're like, where are you from? You know, yeah. flirting isn't just a conversation. It isn't just an exchange of information. You have to like, to add something to it, to make her laugh or make her feel an emotion. And that's what draws people to you. I think that was a pretty fun, How did great be, answer. How did y'all become friends? We've been friends for like 12 years. years. We've been how, friends. How do you remember meeting him? Fuck. Yeah, yeah. I remember like the best moment of our friendship was fucking 3K. We saw each other we our, ran the class. Yeah. We, 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 we were was, was in the same class my first day of school. And we were in the same oh, class. And I like I like ran up to him and I was just like, ah! For no reason. Yeah, it <laughs> it's so funny. funny. It's a great fucking story. Yeah, we've been friends forever. All right, now let me ask you this. A lot of guys come here specifically to meet women. Some that is people, exactly why I'm here. Some people say that's the wrong, re wrong, wrong place to do it. Some people say it's the right place to do it. So you said this is what this is why you're here. 100 percent yes. Have you met a lot of women here? I have. I met a girl last week here. Yeah. I thought we hit off. Can you tell us about the the most memorable girl that you met? Oh, that girl from last week. She. Yeah. Um, what oh, what was so here? special about her? Yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. That girl from last week, she, um, I don't know, we just talked for a while, and then she kissed my face, which was, which was nice. So you approached her? Yeah, like, she had a group of friends, and then uh -huh. my group of friends kind of started yeah. talking to hers, and then she started talking to me, right. and it, it's all history from there, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I know, a lot of guys, when they come here to meet girls, right? They're not looking for any signs or signals, they just walk up to random girls that yeah. look good. Yeah. Should a guy be looking for signals or cues? Or do you look for signals or cues? Um, I think, you know, if look at body language, like if they're, if they look like they're open to meeting people, yeah. be confident and like just say what's up. Uh, but you know, if they're with a group of kids and they're with, especially if it's girls and they're with like a group of guys, yeah. you don't really want to be encroaching on their, on their crew. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All right, now, have you tried online dating, like Ubo or something? No. What are your stupid. thoughts on that? Oh, on Ubo. It's fucking stupid. Oh, it's so, it's so weird. Well, it's so weird. It's like people, not real life. Yeah, it's, it's so strange. I've, I've, I've come on Ubo. I, I didn't, first of all, I didn't see one normal fucking person for hours I fucking scrolled. Uh, I mean, I did, but like, you know, they're just weird. It's, it's just weird to like meet teens on a fucking dating site. Like, you don't know who you are yet. How are you going to put your life into a fucking bio, you know what I mean? Uh, and they're all like, all, <laughs> yeah. Oh right, no, what are you looking for in a girl? Sex. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't really know. A nice short girl. Short she's gotta girl? be shorter than me. Oh, she's gotta be like, no weight limits? Five. What is the weight limit? 
so uh, I had a you guy come. Me pounds. I had a guy come on here tell me that uh, she can't weigh more than me. More than you? No, not more than me, but oh, more oh, than himself. Oh, more than me. Yeah, yeah, more than more than yourself. Yeah, I think well, I'm a big guy, so like I think. Yeah, that's. And that's then I had another guy who said he, he well, likes. If this girl's, if this girl's my, the ideal height, for, which is me, for like five four, maybe yeah. five five max. Right. <laughs> and then she's heavier than me. She's gonna be. Do you, you like the rebellious fun. girls or like, you know, girls that follow the rules? I like a rule follower. Yeah. Rebellious girls now are like... They can have anything I'm fucking annoying. You. It's like your AIDS is so fucking dominant. Herpes. AIDS, you said? Herpes, herpes. <laughs> herpes, yeah, herpes is get super dominant. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they gotta be a because like the rule, the rule break, like the rule breakers now are not like they're not fucking cool. They do stupid shit. They're like they're mad progressive on Instagram, but then in real life they don't give a fuck about anything, and they wear stupid fucking clothes. <laughs> like nice girl who follows the rules is good sometimes. I think. Do you think girls are attracted to bad boys? Not always. Depends on the girl. I, yeah. Okay, now complimenting a woman. I had a lot of people tell me you shouldn't compliment a woman. I'm talking about like random, random people like on the street. Yeah. But then some people say you should do it. Where do yeah. you stand on that? I do it all the time. You shouldn't do it yeah. random. No, I think not you random. Totally should. It kind of depends. Like if in a, a store, girl. It's weird if it's like. It, it depends. If you're like, oh, you're, you're so. Be- I just want to tell you, like, you're so beautiful. Yeah, but if that's like, yo, me. you got a fat ass. Like, no, no that's, well, that's like. Okay, okay, I see. When I do it, I usually just compliment like one of their clothes, like some of their clothes. Like I'll compliment their shoes. Right, or, right. Like. Nice outfit, you know. I'm not gonna say like, "Oh, you're so beautiful." Right. <laughs> Some people finger. can fucking overreact, though. You know? yeah. Thank you so much. I hate that. So fucking. Nice. Like, thanks. Thank you. That's it. Oh, that's like, all you have to do. Some people like can make her days. Like, what the fuck yeah, like a nice. I feel like there's no. There's no downside to giving someone a compliment, especially like if they take it well and you're just like, "Thank you." Right. Like it can just make someone's day better and they, they feel more confident, or whatever it is. There's no reason not to. Well, what motivates you in life? What motivates me? I think knowing that there is more to life than I've experienced already. Like, there is so much fucking more out there. Um, people, you know, you know, about experiences. What's up? Life is fucking short. Like, super fucking short. Like, it's crazy. Li- yeah, Likeable life, I think, is short. Yeah, that, like, that yeah, definitely when, is. Like, after 35, maybe 40, it's like life fucking sucks. Life is ass. You're at home, doing your job, going to your fucking 9 to 5. It's hard. That's why I don't want to do it. Right, you're not going to be as physically fit. Right. Sorry? You're not going to be as physically fit. Right, at 45, you're, yeah. you're a schlub no matter what. Yeah. You can't be like, I guess some people are, you know, bodybuilders are like hot at 45, but no 45 year old man is pulling any babes. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're not living a fun life. I mean, it can be fun, it's just not something you want to do. Yeah, you gotta take advantage of your young years while you still got it. Right. Because, you know, you're around all these girls and, you know, your friends have a lot of time on their hands. Once you're older, you're not gonna have all that anymore. Yeah, at the, at the end of the day, it's like, with all these questions, it's like, whatever, but you have to do what you wanna do. Right. Like, totally. if you're not doing that, you're not living totally. life the way it's Totally. Like, totally. And you just do... That's, all, that's how, what, what you have to do. Don't perform you have to. for anybody. Don't be right. anything other than yourself. Because you're not gonna... What's the point? It's your life. It's your you know? fucking life. Yeah. Um, all right, now you come to this park very often. I come here like every weekend. All right, now the what last is what month or so? What is the strangest thing you've seen or heard right here in this park? I have seen some shit, man. I've been through the trenches. Um, I have seen. Oh man, that's a great fucking question. Last weekend, I saw a guy twerking naked in the, in the fountain. I've seen I've seen couples like literally having sex in the fountain that was on. I've seen, I think a guy was like smoking shit out of a pipe, like literal human shit. <laughs> I've seen some fucked up shit in this park. People get fucked up. fucking crazy. So, this park is like really lively. Yeah, it's always, always. That's obvious, but like, this is life, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's cool. I started, like, it's always something's going on here. Alright, let me ask you this. If you had a trust fund of $5,000 a month, would you still work? Or would you just live off that? <laughs> I go to school. No, I mean, let's pretend like... Right, right, right. In adult life. Yeah, I mean... Fuck no. <laughs> well, no. Here's oh, the thing. Right if I'm like Let's say you already had a job. Would you just quit that job or you keep working? Right. No, I'd quit that job. Fuck that. If it's like a 9 to 5, I'd do that. Yeah. I'd find How much? A month. 
five thousand a month. Oh, oh wait, wait. five thousand a month? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's not a, that, that's a week. Nothing. No, a month. Yeah, no, a month. No, I would continue my nine to five. That'd be great. Like I'd love a five. Yeah, it's a good extra money. Yeah, that's a nice amount of extra money. No, I add up over the years, but you can't live off that. Long. If you could time travel, what year would you go to? I would make. Um, I, would, I would go to 1970. Um, ooh, I would go to 1970. 1970. Period. Point blank. Oh, actually, no. 1965. Because I would let. I, I have this perfect idea in my mind of like my life. <laughs> Ideally, I'm born 1959. Oh, no, 1950. Like that. That's like yeah. no cell phone, no nothing. Though. Yeah, fuck, fuck that. Fuck, yeah, fuck that. fucking hate. Fuck this devil machine. It's, it's horrible. It's ruined life as a teenager. It I mean, not really, but like, it's so much more complicated now because of these fucking things. But uh, 1950s, I like to be born so I can have, I can have my childhood in the 50s, teen years in the 60s, and then adult in the 70s. Like that's just like perfect yeah, to perfect. me. Like to me, like that's like perfect culture in the fucking yeah. yeah. All right. All right. How secure are the two of you in your friendship? Us two? Yeah. We haven't been hanging out as much recently. Yeah. We used to be super, like, super close. We went to Regardless school. though, this guy's my fucking boy. Yeah, yeah. No. Always. All right. Are you? Is he your boy enough to, for you to do his strengths and weaknesses, and him to do your strengths and weaknesses? Strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, if we don't agree not to get a fan. No, I, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. But. Sure. Okay. You go first. Strengths and weaknesses. Um, I think strengths. You're funny as fuck. Um, I should have gone with strengths first because I need more time to think. I'm gonna go with pieces first because you only have a few. You're very stubborn. You've always been stubborn. Um, I mean, it, it has some charm to it when you're just like, no, no. <laughs> but um, other weaknesses. You're too fucking smart. <laughs> That's not a weakness. What the fuck? That is a weakness. <laughs> no, I guess it's a strength. I don't know, it's hard to think of something. You're smart. Yeah. We're smart. All of us are fucking smart. Yeah. Smart boys. You, you want to do him now? Alright. Um, your strengths? I can think of a few off the top of my head. You're also funny as fuck. You're really good at like communicating, you know, like, you're approachable. I like that. Um, I feel like whenever I'm with you, it's like, damn, I want to be with you more, you know? Like, you're a fun person to be around. You're not, like, depressing, you're not, like, fucking boring, you know? Um, this is shit. I don't, I don't really fucking know. Um, honestly, the weakness is that you don't fucking talk to me now. <laughs> I don't talk to you enough. That's true, actually. That's, that's cap. That's cap. I don't talk to you. Yeah, it's, a, it's a mutual not talking to enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, girl. You're, you're a great guy. Yeah. Um, I know. <laughs> yeah, I have some more strengths. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I don't really you're know. You're very determined, though. Like, oh, me, me. Like, when you, like, yeah. I, I'm, I can be determined. Put your mind on something, I feel like I always see you fucking finish it. You're also just like, so funny. I think, I think when I'm with you, I become more confident. Because I'm like, that's my boy. Right, yeah. yeah I'm like, that's my boy right there. We feed off each other's energy at the show. It's like, damn. We can do anything. Yeah. That's that. Alright, now I see both of you have jewelry on. Does that mean anything? Louis Vuitton? I mean, this is just fucking like, how can you top this? It's simple, it's fucking Louis. You know? Any, anybody buy it for you? Uh, special, my anybody mom, special? My mom, shout out to my mom. Yeah. <laughs> that, Diane, shout that out too? Diane. Huh? Yep. You know, this, is, this is my brother's. Oh, that's your brother's? Yeah. What about that? What? This what is, is my it? middle name. Yeah. It's a ring. Zephyr. I think it's just a cool word. Yeah. So I like to... This chain I got for my birthday in LA like two years ago. Or, uh, yeah, 2019. I turned 15. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Alright, now can you do any impersonations? A few. I can do like accents more than impersonations. Okay, let's hear one of them. What's fun? What's, what's, what accent? What, what are you known for? What is? What, right, let me ask you. What is he known for? What kind of accent um, is he known for? Uh, I mean, obviously, like you're in New York, you're Italian, like mobster yeah, kind of thing. Do the mobster. Do the mobster. I can do like a. Uh, uh, well, I can do a Joe Pesci impression. Okay, let's hear it. It's not that great, but it, okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, sitting Goodfellas, when he's like, "What? I'm funny." Oh my funny! Like, what am I, a fucking comedian? <laughs> what, 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 he's like, he's like, yeah, it's so good. Um, how does that see? He's like, 
I make you laugh. How am I funny? Tell me how I'm funny. That sounds like that prank called Soundboard. Does it? Yeah. Oh, we used to love those fucking pranks. All right, now what do you want to name this video? This video? Yeah. Oh shit. Cool white boy in NYC. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, oh, that's shitty. What do you guys? Not that. What do you think we should name it? No bad fucking kids in New York City. Kids who need pussy in New York City. I think that might get like flagged. Get your phone numbers. Hot bitches hit me up. Ah, fuck. I want people to click on this shit, so. Kid is super wise and gives great life advice at 16 years old. Parentheses, must watch. And parentheses. Gone, gone emotional, gone sexual. Gone wrong. Right. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's very convincing. Alright, now, um, how do you know somebody's crazy? You can tell by the clothes they wear. Yesterday, I was on the train. I was sitting at Smith and 9th Street. Oh, what? I was sitting at Smith and 9th Street. And this fucking crazy guy. Hawks a pair of headphones on my head. Like, I'm just sitting there, minding my own fucking business on my phone. And he, before he walks to me, he like, threw a water bottle. So I already knew he was a little crazy. But he had, like, he would, he's the typical, like, crazy... I don't know if he's homeless or not, but, like, fit. You know what I mean? Like, big black jacket, mismatched shoes. Like, you can always tell. You can always tell. Their hair is always fucking crazy. Like, someone's falling out. Yeah. Yeah. People are fucking crazy. It's hard to, it's hard to tell. But it's kind of easy to tell. You know, one of the questions I ask people is how important is the way a person is dressed? And a lot of people say, if you dress well, it kind of shows that you care about yourself. You think that's true? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dress well. Don't dress like a fucking homeless person. Because it's like fashionable. <laughs> for some people dress like fucking homeless people. And they think they look really good. It's like a Y2K look taken way too far. People do it wrong. If you do, if you do white UK good, you can look good. But if you don't, you look at the fucking homeless. At the end of the day, it's like if you don't have a trip, like that's it. You don't have your. I mean, if you, you don't look, trip, good, you look good, you look good, you feel good. That's a exactly. exactly. Yeah, facts. Like, if I'm wearing a good yeah. fit, I'm so better. much more confident. Like you feel better about yourself. Totally, totally. I'm like, yeah, I wear clothes that fit me well, especially like, like if I have, if I have clothes that are like fit me shittily or like too tight or whatever. Like I always feel like I don't want anyone to see me. I don't want to look at me. When I'm wearing something that I feel good in, like I'm just like, what's up? Come say hello to me. Like, bro, like especially over quarantine, because you know, like everybody's like lounging around the house and like looking like bum, like yeah, shitty yeah, ass exactly. fits on. You feel like shit. Like so many people feel like shit over quarantine. I feel like so disgusting. They're lounging around like fucking sweatpants and like an old like t-shirt and shit. Right. Like over quarantine, like I'd get ass just put a fit on and be like, okay. In your house? <laughs> yeah, I'd be in my house. I put on some jeans and put on a fit. Be like, just okay. chill alone. It's cool. Fuck it. Also, I, I try to like experiment with outfits a lot. I, I'm not like fashionable by any means, but I, tr I tr you know, I try and dress them well. I try and dress at least nicely. Yeah. Put some effort into it. Right. Kidding her. Allie? Yeah. We met at drama class. We go to LaGuardia High School for the performing. Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School for the performing arts. <laughs> what makes her interesting? Allie's always been very interesting. Uh, we both have a love for stand up comedy and Saturday Night Live. So that's a big. Not point of contention. That's a big topic. Yeah. We talk about a lot. Or we used to. I don't just hear as much anymore. Because there's no school. So we just have a lot in common. And we go to the same high school. And we love comedy. Um, and I don't want to like say too much. Not, not what this. Um, but, but yeah, he... We met because I think he was Google, we were in the same drama class, but he was watching Saturday Night Live on his phone. And I love Saturday Night Live. And then we were just like friends. Yeah. And he's awesome. Exactly. Wait, so are you in school? I thought you saw you're, Are you an actor? Like, would you consider yourself an actor? I mean, I, I go to LaGuardia High School yeah. too, and I am there uh, for drama. So, yeah, I yes, I'm into acting, um, but I'm into comedy as well. Can you tell us a joke? Um, I, I, at the moment, I cannot. I'm sorry. Can you do a New York accent? Um, hello, my name is Ali. Um, 
Can you do any impersonation? Oh, my God. I was not being serious. I thought you knew. You do dancing and singing, too, or no? I like to do both, but I'm not great. Yeah. But I like to do both. So you're yeah, learning it? Sure. Yeah, not in school, but no, I was just like a in my free time, I'll just dance. What do you think about the fact that some guys set their standards too high? They're only looking for really good-looking women, and they end up being lonely. And there's some other guys who have lower standards, but they've always got women around them. Uh, I think you got to uh, look for ladies who are at your level. <laughs> if you have too high, you know, if you're always reaching for them. I mean, it's it's good to reach for the moon, you know. Yeah. But if you land them on the stars, that's great too. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's my advice. Follow me on Instagram. You know vibes. <laughs> Truman dot Zephyr. Zephyr spelled like that. Oh, check it out. Can they see that in the camera? Yeah. They check it yeah, out. Yeah. Check it out. Zephyr. Z e p h y r. Truman dot Zephyr. Follow my friends. You guys want to plug any? I got Brandon Obilia on Instagram. B r a n d o n e l b i l i a. One four four five. Yeah. Yeah. L O T Y Jojo, L O T Y underscore Jojo. Also follow L O T Y Crosby, he's my bro. Yeah. Um, yeah, L O T Y. A lot of gang. A lot of gang. A lot of gang. I kind of deleted Instagram, but my name is Ali Hyman. So. Well, you, are you a content creator? Like, uh, tell them about your a live show. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, not really. I've done like a mics. couple open mics, but, but if anybody's watching Rising Stars, um, I got in with my video, it's called The Mystery of Scruffy Mon Phoenix, so, yeah. You make TikToks? I don't No, I, I asked these questions to them before already, but, um, compliments. Should dudes be on the street be complimenting women? Um, Randomly, like, around here. I, I don't know how to... Feel about that. I don't know if it's like kind of creepy comments. Um, yeah. What what would what would be considered a creepy comment? Something about their body um, yeah. or gross, just gross. I don't know. I don't know. You, you know. Now what about what about uh, do you think women are attracted to bad boys? Yeah. Um, I think some women are. Uh -huh. I can't speak for all women, but um, yeah. I think. It's Certain people have their attraction to bad boys. Um, this, I, I did not. How important is it for a person to dress well? Because we were talking earlier about that, about you know someone who dresses well, and a lot of people in general will say how you dress reflects how you feel about yourself. What do you, what do you think, stand on that? Um, as long as you're comfortable in what you're wearing, you're dressing well. So I think like it's important to be comfortable. Yeah. Now I see you have a lot of jewelry on. What does that mean, if anything? What does it mean? Yeah. Did anybody um, special give it to you, or does it have any value, like sentimental value? Well, my mom, I found this in my mom's room, and it's just a beam. Um, it's from my sister. Well, most of my jewelry is from my grandma. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. All right. Now, do you believe nice guys finish last? Sales, nice guys finish last? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Should you be yourself even if your personality is bad? Or if people don't like you? Well, I think you can learn to become a better person. So if you're already a better person, I mean, if you're already a good person, then be that person. But if you're mean, then do you have any advice for the young people? The young people? Um, I guess be yourself. What's your greatest accomplishment in life? I'm going to have to go with this video that I just made. Right now? Yeah, like a couple. No, not, not this one. But, well, I mean, this is, this is a big accomplishment. Oh, tell, tell us about those videos you made. Um, I made about my dog, and he's like a model. Um, it's kind of weird, but, but I'm happy with it. Yeah. You film by yourself or you fill up with people? I um I film my dad, my neighbor, myself, and my dog. So you were behind everything. Yeah. You do the editing and everything. Yeah. Okay. So where are you gonna put that once once you're done? I created it into my school's talent show. And All right. It's got in. It says that I'm on the list of people who got in, which 
I'm very happy. Um, so far, it's just that. Maybe I should put it on YouTube. What are some of your goals in the future? Actually, I did not watch. Write a lot. Read a lot. Get to know people. Um, I just like to work my hardest. Right. Sounds good. Sounds like you're going places. Now, you want to give a shout out to anybody? Uh, all of my friends. I don't know. I can't. I, not that I have that. Um, I don't know. Mom, I love you. Yeah. Thank you. Did, did you want to talk about your greatest accomplishment in life? Surviving the first uh, year of fucking high school during a fucking pandemic. Uh, that's the biggest accomplishment, accomplishment any of us has ever fucking made in the history of the world. Like, yeah. it is so fucking hard to be social when you're not supposed to be. Like, it's a, it's it's looked down upon to be social because it's, you know it's unsafe or whatever. But first of all, I got my vaccine shot, so. <laughs> What what is that like going in class right now? I mean, are you we in the classroom or no? Our school LaGuardia yeah. is huge, so there's like one per one class in person a week yeah. for fucking three hours in one room, no teacher, six feet apart. It's horrible. Yes. Not in my class. So and I don't go, so I don't go. So, just fuck that. So you don't even gonna, go that one? Because I live in Brooklyn and it's in the Upper West Side. Like I'm not gonna go like, travel 45 minutes to go to school for three hours and sit in a fucking room. Fuck that. Like I'd rather just be at home and take a nap for most of my classes. I sleep through most of my classes and I still get fucking A's. Like, online school sucks. Online school is the fucking worst. It's so, it's, it's, it's crazy easy. I haven't learned a fucking thing in the year and a half. I haven't learned a thing since quarantine started. It's not been a year and a half. You know, like in a year. No, it's been like a, like just a little over a couple of So everything's online? Is that how it works? Everything's online. I don't know. And it sucks. It fucking sucks. Because school is the only place you socialize. I don't know half people in my fucking school. Well, I don't know like anyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our school is huge. There's like 4,000 kids. So do you have, is there a set time that you have to be in front of the computer? Yeah. We have classes. I have my, I start at 8.30 in the morning and I end at 1.15, 1.10, something like that. So they have webcams, is that how it works? Yeah, they have the computers. Have. So you could see them, you, the other people. Yeah. In the class. It's a Zoom class. So it's so a, at least like it's a, a little bit like call. social. I mean, not really. It, most of the time, it's just like yeah. silent. Yeah, silent cameras off. So when 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 are you when do you expect to be back in the classroom? Next I mean, year. fully. Next year. Next so year. this summer, I mean, after this summer, then. Yeah, hopefully. I'm like full school next yes, week. Some people are in school fully. I have really? my full shit. That's sexy. Honestly. <laughs> there's, there's what are you anticipating for, for next week? Well, I mean, there's some people at school who are like, I kind of, I kind of forgot about like, I kind of forgot they existed. So now, and, and like, I kind of like blew them off, or if they texted me, I kind of be like an asshole to them. But now, like, I'm gonna see them at school, and I'm like, oh shit, I forgot you existed. It's like, oh, I shouldn't have been such an asshole to them over quarantine. So I forgot I have to like actually see you again in person. So, <laughs> yeah, you excited to be back? You're a dickhead. I mean, some people it's like, hey, I'm excited to see you. Some people I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but we'll see what happens, I guess. Yeah. Okay, now y'all want to give a shout out to anybody? We just did shout outs. Uh, shout out to anybody. Shout out to Biggie. Rest in peace. Rest in power. King. That's 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 my shout out. Anybody else? Lottie, Lottie again. Lottie Crosby. Lottie Crosby. Legend of the year. <laughs> Legend of the year. Oh, that's your brother, right? Yeah, yeah. Lottie's going big. I'm telling you right from now. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out to Max. Shout out Max. Shout out Max. Max, Max oh, Lass. Yeah. Shout out David Lawrence, my boxing trainer. <laughs> oh, you're a boxer too? Yeah. Tell us about that. What is it to tell? I'm a... I'm a I go to boxing lessons three times a week. Yeah. I'm, I'm a sparring. Boxer, yeah, it's so fun. It's so fun. Sparring yeah. is not open in the state of New York right now. So I'm still pretty ass, and I've been boxing for like six months. <laughs> um, so I Who have like a against? good technique. I, I can't find a lot. The only person I've uh, been in the ring with is my trainer. Okay. And he's fucking 75 years old. <laughs> and he can't take a punch <laughs> like, for shit. And so he's, you, like, you he haven't been put to He's the a test. mess. But I love him. Yeah. David Lawrence. <laughs> okay. That's my boy. Um, 
He, I love my fucking trainer. What a, what a, he's a crazy life story. He was, he made millions on Wall Street in the 80s. Really? Then he went to jail for tax fraud. Uh, and then shit. he was like the first white collar boxer in New York. He was the oldest box, professional boxer in New York City. He made a rap album. He made two rap albums in the 90s. He's a fucking, he's insane. Well, how did you link up with him? I met him. I was I was looking for gyms to to learn boxing at, and right. Gleason's gym is a world famous gym. Uh, it's in downtown Brooklyn. It used to be by Madison. It used to be on Thirty Fifth Street, I think, or uptown somewhere. You still go to YMCA? I used to work out at a YMCA. It's so ass. Is it really? It's so I mean, shit. Isn't is it like a public? Is it public? Yeah, you need to pay. But it's yeah, it's public. What's it's your so workout routine look like? Uh, most days, well, boxing. There's like different shit, but. Most days I start with a 15 to 20 minute run on the treadmill, and then I'll do I'll just uh, hit mitts for a little while, like you know different combos and shit. And then I'll do like push ups, sit ups, pull ups, uh, curls, bench press, and then I'll do speed bag, which is like you know in boxing movies when like in Rocky he's fucking hitting a little like, uvula looking thing. Uh, you on any kind of special diet? Yeah, I do. I do a calorie deficit. I just don't eat. I just eat 1,700 calories a day, and also intermittent fast, so I don't eat till four o'clock. Uh, yeah. Oh, do I have permission to put this on the internet? Yeah, <laughs> that's the whole reason we're filming it, right? Oh, yeah. Are you gonna yeah. edit it? Yeah. Or no? Yeah, I probably will.